Five of the six men accused of plotting to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer appeared in Grand Rapids federal court today. The hearing started this morning and continued well into the afternoon. 13 on your side's John Hogan was there and has more on what investigators call a plot against state government. An FBI agent spent most of the morning talking about what was contained in the criminal complaint, which includes a plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. At one point, one of the defendants told the agent that he had plans to have Whitmer in a boat out in the middle of Lake Michigan. FBI agent Richard Trask was involved in the investigation early on. He identified 37-year-old Adam Fox of Grand Rapids as the head of the plot to kidnap Whitmer. Conspirators planned to take the governor out of state to stand trial for treason. There was also discussion, the agent testified, of setting her adrift in a boat in the middle of Lake Michigan. There was also talk of abducting the governor of Virginia. Even though the allegations are serious to wait and see how the evidence shakes out in federal court. Several attorneys were in Grand Rapids federal court today representing the five Michigan defendants. Security was tight inside the courtroom and outside the courthouse. Police say some of the conspirators met in a vacuum shop on South Division Avenue. That is where Fox was living. Among the exhibits shown in court on Tuesday is video of Fox practicing speed reloading of a firearm in the store. Helen Neuenheis is the attorney representing Fox. She says there is a lot of evidence to sift through. There's just so much material and, and so much um, coverage that we just really want to have some time to take a, a really close look at all of the paperwork and reports. After hearing arguments from both sides, a federal magistrate judge denied bond for three of the defendants, Daniel Harris, Caleb Franks, and Brandon Caserta. Bond for Adam Fox and Ty Garbin will be addressed later this week. Gary Springstead is the attorney representing Garbin, who lives in Livingston County. Obviously, the charges in this case are very serious, uh, but at this point, they're just allegations. And uh, our client is presumed innocent unless and until he's proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. A sixth defendant, 44-year-old Barry Croft, is in Delaware. A removal hearing was scheduled for today. The federal court hearing for some of the defendants will pick up on Friday. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.